Wouldn't it be great if you could read the future and know exactly how a football match was going to turn out? Sadly, we don't yet have a crystal ball that is going to give us this information, but we do have the next best thing. The CGM Bet Score Evolution module. This module has actually been out for around four months now, but with all the continuous development taking place, we've refrained from looking at it until now. This module attempts to use previous games with the same characteristics of the match you were looking at and shows how the score makes its way from 0-0 to the final score. Sound interesting? Then watch on and we'll delve deeper into this powerful and unique module. If you want to purchase CGM Bet, you can now do so from our own link. This will get you a significant discount off the current list price of the software. Just go to the link on the screen and also in the description of this video or the links section from our YouTube homepage to make your purchase and join many of the users of this excellent betting and trading tool. Purchasing CGM Bet also gives you access to many free Lessons in Logic software applications such as the Power BI dashboards, the Lessons in Logic simulator and the Lessons in Logic market data viewer. The first thing we need to do is to select our fixture that we want to profile. We'll take the upcoming game in the Iceland League. Um, I won't try and pronounce the team names. And you can see from the screen here, the software is telling us that there are 57 games in the last five seasons that are similar to this game. And by similar, we mean with the ELO scores of the two teams, um, give or take 75 either way. And with the form as well, um, between minus seven and four, give or take 10, which is the form of the two teams involved as well. And with this data, what it's telling us is that um, out of these 57 games that are similar, 33 and a third percent have been home wins, 28% have been drawn, and 38% have been away wins. And the over two and a half goals, 60% uh, have been over, 40% under, and both teams to score in 54% of the games. And with these games, then the most likely score is 1-1, coming in at 14%. Uh, and next has been 0-0 at 7 and 0-2 also at 7. And we can change these values and that will obviously change the numbers accordingly. So what we can do is we can also add some filters in here if we want to, like the home win filters. Uh, that brings through for the uh, the home team who were 2.14. So it's brought 0.20 lower and 0.20 higher. And we can do the same for the draw, which is 371 to 411 because that was 391. And we can do that for any of the other markets as well. But for now, we'll leave that off. We'll bring through all of the games. And we can see here that for this game, based on the 57 similar games, then 0-0 happens 7% of the time, which we already know because that's up here. And the home team goes 1-0 up 40% of the time. And the away team take the lead 52% of the time. And if we focus on the away team, so when they go 1-0 up, it stays 1-0 in almost 7% of the games. The home team come back to equalise in 46% of the games. And it then goes to 2-0 in 46% of the games. And what the second percentage is telling us here is, um, of these 52%, what's the actual breakdown is. So the 24, the 3 and the 24 will also equal this 52%. So what that's telling us is at this point... The games that go 0-0, 0-1, 1-1, 24% of the entire games. And the games that go 0-1, 1-1, then 57% of these games end 1-1. 28% of these games go 2-1 to the home team. And 14% of these games go 2-1 to the away team. And again, that 24.56 is broken down into these three numbers here. So what we can say is that games that go 0-0, 0-1, 1-1, 2-1, -1, that equates to 7% of all of these 57 games. And from that 2-1, then we can see that it goes 3-1 in three quarters of the games and it goes 2-2 in the other. And we see the green line here. This is the golden path. This is where the highest percentage occurs. And it's not to say that it's going to finish 1-1, uh, but this is where the data is saying is the most likely score that we will end up on. So if we go from 0-0, the away team will take the lead and the home team will equalise. 
And that will be the final score. And we can also see here, 1-1, 1 -1, 1404 is the correct final score. And what we can also do is we can change these times. So for example, if we wanted uh, to see the home team leading 1-0 at 15 minutes, and what would happen until half time here. So we can see our starting point is 1-0. Uh, and it goes 2-0 by half time on 40% of the occasions. It stays as 1-0 on 40 and the home team uh, equalise in the other 20%. And we can browse the data here just to confirm. We know the score at 15 minutes was 1-0. So those are the two games where there's been no further goal. And that game obviously was the one that came back to 1-1 one, one, and these games would have gone 2-0. And we can see that here. So out of the two games that went to 2-0, then one remained 2-0 at half time and the other one, the away team came back to 2-1 which is what we can see here. We've deliberately kept this to a small number of games so we can show that pattern here for you. So so just to reiterate that, all games were 1-0 at 15 minutes and then two games had no further goals by 45 minutes. One game went to 1-1 one, one, and two games went to 2-0 of which one remained at 2-0 and the other one went to 2-1 at half time. We could also look at the percentages for individual scores. So in this example, we're looking at the entire game again. We scored 0-0 at the start of the period. And what we're saying is the score is 2-0 in the 90th minute. And if we refresh that again, then the software is telling us this is 3.51% chance. And we can see here 2-0 at 3.51%. And we can also do the same for half time as well. So if we've gone, we've got nil one here. So we can see nil one um, at seventeen point five four percent. And again, if we look for one one there, that's gone up to fifteen point seven nine percent. So we've got the eight point seven seven there and the seven o two there. So what we're going to do is this game is due to kick off shortly. So we're going to monitor this. Number one, to see if the golden path follows this route of being 1-0 to the away team and finishing at 1-1, uh, which obviously gives us the top correct score. And we're also going to be looking to see if we get a 0-0 or 0-2 as well, which are the next two most popular scores for this game. So we'll pause this video now and we'll come back once the game is complete and we'll evaluate um, how close to um, this prediction the actual final score was. So we're coming back to our game a little bit earlier than the end. Um, we've got 63 minutes on the clock now, and you can see the away team took the lead from the penalty spot. Uh, the home team then missed the penalty, but subsequently have equalised in the 57th minute, which goes with what uh, the score evolution told us, that the away team would score first, and then the home team would equalise. Um, what we've done now is we've turned on the live refresh, so you can see here the software has put us between 64 and 90 with the score at 1-1. One, one. And we can see here that um, there's eight games which now meet these conditions. And we see that um, in 25% of them the score finishes 1-1. One, one. Uh, you can see that's just updated there now to 65 minutes. And the, um, the home team go 2-1 up in 37.5% and also the away team go up in 37.5%. But the, the golden path here is for the home team to take the lead and then for the away team to equalise. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, as a reminder, 1-1 one, one was the score, which the score evolution told us it would be at the end of the game. But um, we're now updating this um, in real time. And we can see that 1-1 one, one at 25% uh, still is the most uh, likely score. Uh, but 1-2 one, and 1-3... One, are the next on the highest numbers there. But the, the primary path, I say, is 2-1 to the home team and then 2-2 two, two final score. So we can see now we're in the 81st minute and the score is still 1-1. One, one. And if we flick back to the score evolution in CGM bet, we can see now it's still ticking along automatically every 30 seconds at the 81st minute. 1-1 one, one is now overwhelmingly the favourite for the score with, say, 3-2 the only other score um, that we've had in the six games um, which meet this criteria uh, being 1-1, one, one, 
with these ELO ratings in the 83rd minute. So the game was just finished at one all. Uh, you can see it was quite an eventful game, plenty of shots, plenty of expected goals. And the away team took the lead and the home team equalised which is exactly what the score evolution predicted would happen. So 1-0 to the away team, which happens on 52% of the time. After the score is 0-1, 46% of the time, then the home team equalises. And then once they've equalised in 57% of the occasions, then there are no further goals. So this path happens on 14.04%. So it goes 0-0, 0-1, 1-1 and stays that way. So looking at this match in more detail, we can see that the home team were actually um, the favourites in terms of the odds, with the away team being somewhat behind. The head-to-head um, -head for this game, then we can see that the home team were actually unbeaten this season. Um, in fact, they hadn't conceded a home goal in their last four games. Uh, the away team, after losing their first three games, conceding quite a few goals, they had a draw and a large win in their last game. So for us to predict that the away team were going to score first in this game, looking at the um, notable defence for the home team, then the CGM bet data really has come good for us here because uh, most people would have just gone for the home win, I'm sure, and potentially with the both teams to score, no. So... Uh, that's a great insight we've had here using the CGM Beck score evolution data. The 1-1 one, one played out exactly as the score evolution said it would do. Um, obviously, it's not going to be right every time, but it's just nice that um, in this example, it's worked out perfectly. If you've enjoyed this video, then please let us know in the comments below. We don't get enough comments, in my opinion, on these videos. And also give us a like, because these videos do take a hell of a long time to produce and um, just show your appreciation if you don't mind and it also spurs us on to make more similar content in future thank you for watching